My goal is to bring complete food, establishment and process from complete food to humanity, taking care of the most precious thing that we have, our, our land, and two, leading to physical completeness into humanity, and, and perhaps in three generations, it's a tough call, but perhaps within three generations we wouldn't live and think from all of our internalized hungers and we would stop being so greedy and selfish and self-centered and adversarial and, and perhaps uh, humanity could arise and become the truly intelligent organism that uh, we have the capacity to be. If we truly were the most intelligent organism upon the planet to this day, why then the soils would, under our culture, would be more bountiful and more disease-free than wild, unmanaged soils. However, this is clearly not the case. What's been most exciting about farming? Um, uh, being outside. Um, um, interacting with uh, all the life forms that one gets to interact with. Um, producing producing uh, the highest quality steady state food supply that I can for um, my population. Um, other exciting things. God, I never even thought of farming as exciting. Continuity, the the anticipation of of um, the regularness of the seasons. Um, watching uh, watching the the uh, natural process uh, local food production systems blossom has been quite exciting. It, when I first started, that was illegal to sell stuff at a farmer's market and. Um, and uh, farmers markets blossom from here in California across the nation and um, that's exciting. Um, we were told consistently that, um, that uh, um, organic or natural process farming was uh, a gadfly hippie activity and no possibility of, of, um, of feeding the world and um, today we have organizations like FAO uh, and whatnot recognizing that um, that local production systems that are closely allied with nature with minimal inputs um, other than than education in, in, in um, natural practices so that the soil gets better as as the people support themselves is um, the way the only way of the future that um, humanity is going to truly be interactively successful as an organism here on the planet um, those kinds of things have been quite exciting I suppose well, in the economic realities, I don't even consider it a compromise. Um, one of my primary ways of, of of being maintaining economic solvency has been to have very small personal demands. I live off of a very small amount of money. Um, my farm workers almost always generate more income than I do. Um, uh, but I have the pleasure of living here in this little shack in the middle of one of my home garden and um, we grow several hundred different varieties throughout the course of the seasons. We produce food year on a year-round basis. Um, since starting in the farmer's market business in about 78, I've never missed a load, um, whether it's the farmer's market or to the restaurant clientele that I've dealt with in the last 25 years or whatever it is. And um, 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 uh, feeding myself with the diversity and the bounty of nature, recognizing and embracing the the economy of generosity that is the foundation of all of nature and, and shunning the, the economic uh, foundation of this false economy of scarcity that they all have us horn schwoggled into, into believing is the way to go. Um, uh, investing in uh, the farm rather than in toys and, um, and entertainment devices and so on and so forth. Um, being satisfied with what I have. Why am I going to keep with it? Why well, it's the the goal of my life. First off, I dropped out of the land grant college and went back to the nursery industry in order to initially make money, so that I could buy a farm and engage in study of nature and grow complete as complete possible food without the use of, of um, uh, with minimum use of inputs and, and um, shunning toxic inputs and growing uh, complete food and inspiring people to do the same, uh, teaching. Um, he's been at the junior college for 23 years and um, now I have this uh, privately run institute, my partner Fred Klein and I um, 
have an average of, of um, 15 students every 90 days and I lecture at them and they uh, um, work in the morning and get a lecture in the afternoon and have their own little private gardens and try to inspire a sufficiency of all farm tasks, not only the foundations of natural process agriculture, but the development of the work ethic and, and the stimulation of the body so that it can become an agricultural athlete um, and, and, and have the passion and the nutrition to be able to actually love and enjoy and embrace nature. So, uh, no, it's my life's work. Educate people as best I can, learn myself and, and um, uh, guide others towards uh, t feeding themselves and bringing the completeness of nutrition that is the economy of generosity of nature to our children, children's children, so that perhaps they can arise and be real human beings. <laughs>